Hey guys, it's Arit here with Estatino Artists and happy 2016. It is a new year. The 2015 year is behind us. Everything that has happened, everything that you've accomplished, everything that you've failed, awesome. Good on you. You know, failures are actually successes in disguise because there's little lessons learned in each one of those failures. So at the end of every year, what I do is I actually do an evaluation of my year. I'll sit there. I don't actually have a very good memory, but I will, um, I'll look at my past goals and I'll look to see, you know, what are some of the big events that have happened in the year? What have, what are some things that I did really well at? What are some things that I have accomplished? What, and what are some things that didn't work as I expected them to? And those things that didn't work are as much as important as the things that I accomplished because it is a learning process. Your journey towards being who you want to be, towards creating success in your creative business is all about failing forward faster. And then I asked myself, okay, how do I want 2016 to be different? What is it this year that I'm going to do differently. And I start, you know, without overthinking it too much, because this is where all of the problems come up is when we start to overthink, okay, what do I want to achieve this year? Uh, well, I can't, mm, that's not realistic. Um, maybe I could, oh, no, that's way too hard. Oh, no, I have to get this degree first. And, you know, when we start to think too hard about it, other, your mind just pops in excuses and reasons for why you can't do it. So without even thinking, I brainstorm absolutely everything that I want to achieve this year. And then I go back and look at the ones that are the most, that, that I can create most impact with in my business and my music career. This is something that I do every year. So I'll look, I'll look back at each goal and I'll ask myself, okay, so in order to achieve this goal, what do I have to do? And then I'll start brainstorming a list of, of that. And it's just, it becomes um, an uninhibited process of goal setting. And it's something that I highly encourage you guys to do. So instead of really thinking and planning, like sitting there and, and thinking hard about what it is that you want to achieve, Forget about that. Throw the head out of the, out of the way and just speak from your heart. Just really feel what 2016 would would be like for you. So let me give you an example of one of my goals. Okay, so one of my goals for uh, this year that just came out when I was brainstorming goals for what do I want to achieve in 2016? This is for my music career. I want to hear one of my songs on the radio or on a film. And then the next question I ask myself is, what do I need to do to get my song on the radio or in a movie? And again, brainstorming ideas without figuring out how I'm going to do it, just brainstorming ideas. So I came up with, and I actually have it in my, in my journal right here. That's my journal. Um, so I have it in my journal right here. So I came up with, well, I need to have a huge fan base. So I need to continuously be grow growing my fan base on YouTube, which is primarily the, the uh, social media platform that I use. I need to constantly be submitting my music to radio stations, to the, um, the music publishers, the guys who are in charge of choosing what songs go in a movie on film. And I also need to do a little bit of research because, you know, this world of um, having my song in a movie is new to me. So I need to ask people who have already achieved those results. So I need to seek out those those artists, those bands, um, the, the music experts that already know about that subject and research about it. Figure out the steps that I need to do. You know, you can do this with anything, guys. This is just really a, a goal setting process of, of coming from the heart instead of what's in the head. Because you need to be setting goals that you feel excited about. If you are setting quote unquote realistic goals and then you come across obstacles um, or life, because life always gets in the way, um, you're not, you know, it's going to be so much easier for you to be like, hmm. 
tomorrow, mm, next day, mm, next week. But, you know, if it's something that is is so intensely a part of you, your goals are connected to a higher purpose or a vision, um, it's connected to something that is really close to the heart for you. Um, maybe it's buying your parents a retirement, um, a, a, a home, a house for when they retire. Maybe it's, um, you know, being able to, even something as simple as being able to travel home for the, for, um, the holidays to your family. Maybe it's something like being able to take care of um, your girlfriend or boyfriend um, and, and um, retiring them from their nine to five job. Maybe it's something that is for you entirely, is so close to your heart. This is something that you just know you need to achieve because of your upbringing. Whatever it is, you need to find this higher purpose, this, this intense core um, of why you're setting these goals. What, did it, what is it about setting that goal that you feel so strongly about? When you are really truly excited and connected to that goal, you are going to have more motivation for when obstacles, when life shows up, when all these things come across that block your, your, your way of getting to achieving what you want to achieve. And you know what, guys? My, my most important message that I want to communicate to you in this video is that you don't need to do this alone. This whole process of setting goals and, and then starting on them, taking action, achieving what it is that you set out to achieve, you don't need to do it alone. You don't need to be uh, um, completely isolated from a community around you that is that wants to help. And when I, what I mean by that is that there are other artists, there are other creative entrepreneurs, there are other partners, potential partners around you that want to link arms. They want to connect with you. They want to collaborate on projects with you. They want to exchange ideas about how you can create something bigger and better. They want to um, maybe be an accountability partner for you. So you tell them what your goals are, and they will tell you what their goals are and you guys keep each other accountable the following week to make sure that you guys did what you said you would do. This is exactly what we're creating inside of Esatino Artists. We are creating a thriving artist community of like-minded creatives and artists, all types of um, musicians, designers, painters, uh, photographers who, who want to help. And this is the quality, this type of quality community that we're building is really something that I envision changing the stereotype around being an artist. You know, just, uh, it gets me so mad every time I hear this the starving artist um, term. And I wanna change that. And you know, if you wanna be a part of that too, if you wanna show the world that an artist deserves as much respect and as much value put on them than a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer, then link arms with me, please. Please join this community. It is, um, it's a community on Facebook. It's a Facebook group that I created and I'll put the link down in the description below. There's already, you know, we have members in the group and it's just gonna continue growing, all right? so. That is it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you listening and watching in today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.